it could be a, a photo, it could be a texture, it could be a mathematical uh, 3D texture, a mathematical um, uh, uh, texture, a procedural texture if you prefer. Um, so let me show you, for example, I'll, I'll use a sphere. And I'll move it to the side. I'll copy it, Control D. It's not going to be very pretty, but it's just going to show you that I'm going to make a, an object who is complicated to, um, to texture. So I'm going to merge both. I right click, I go merge, say OK. And now that they are both merged, I'm going to go bridge polygon. So you can only bridge two objects if they are merged together. Remember this. Click. And here we could add a line. You see segment. I could put one if I want. That didn't work. That's weird. Uh, maybe I was supposed to do that before doing the bridge. It's okay. I can always add a line, add loop. Um, as you know here, we can go in Polygon and we can go Shift D. We've learned this last class. And we can go uh, Catmull Clock. That's the same as doing Shift Tab, but it really applies it. Uh, and I'll do it twice. It might be slow on your computer if you do it twice. Keep this in mind. So now we have an object who is actually... Uh, I must have hit the wrong key. Uh, was actually complex to uh, to uh, texture. Are you guys following with me? So if I switch to the shading tab, let me delete all of those ones because we don't need them. and neither that one and I'll create one M and we'll call it sphere so we know uh, two sphere we know who is who yeah so we could bring any image and we may, we could make it a bump or displacement that would work but they might they might be a seam it might be not well connected so what we can also do is go add layer and under there's a lot of menu but mostly enhanced texture but you have more also under special or uh, texture there's a lot of them but let's go enhance texture and i'll go noise and we could pick any of them i'll go uh, which one will I choose? Uh, I'll go uh, Agate. And on the Modo Help, you have a photo of all of them, if you're, if you're wondering what they do. So you see, that's the Agate. Uh, and this is made with mathematics. So maybe Agate is not the best one here. Let me pick one who is easier to understand. So I'll go Add, Texture, Noise. Noise is very common one. Or we could go cellular too. Let's try cellular. Voila. So you see it, it grows cells like Mother Nature would do. Uh, so there's no seam. And even if you change the polygon, even if you extrude new polygon, it will do the math and, 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 uh, and apply it perfectly. It'll be seamless. Uh, you do have some option here under the the first tab here the option usually you have to play with it it's the mathematic you see the cell width so i'm guessing that's the width of the cell um, so if we want them smaller we could go smaller the frequency we can try maybe three you see so that gives you more so that might be a bit too much uh, instead one 
um, the gain will make it more contrasty you see they are even darker same with the bias uh, then there's angular there's round depending on what you want So play a bit with this and I'll show more. And we could try something else, huh? Like I said, we don't have to use the cell. It could be a, a noise or something else. When you are happy with the result, you see where it said diffuse color? We could switch this to surface shading bump and if you do this it'll make it like it's bumpy you see but it's not really there it renders very fast but it's a cheat if you look at the edges it doesn't really exist so the advantage of bump is that it's quick it's used a lot in video games because uh, it doesn't take too long to render it's a cheat so I went here surface shading and I went bump Now, if you want to change the bump amplitude, it's under material. So if you go down, you can see bump, 5 mil. You don't want to go too high, it'll look weird, because uh, bump has limitation. But we could go 8, you see. Or we could go 4 to get less. Mil, mm. So this is so this is under material bump amplitude. This is where you decide how deep is the bump. Now we could invert the bump. So under layers, if you want, we could say invert, and that would reverse it. So now you see it's things popping up. We could play with the opacity also, if we want less of it. We could go 80% or 60%.
and like I say, you could use your own image. Huh? It doesn't have to be a, a, a procedural. It doesn't have to be a, a texture from Molo. Like if you brought a black and white image and switch it to bump, it, it would uh, it would work. Any question toward this? So now let's see something a bit more complicated. So it's similar to the bump, but it's called displacement. And it's the real thing, but it's heavy on the computer. So for that one, I'll use a noise under texture, noise, you see? And the noise also have a bunch of options that you can play with. Uh, the first thing I'll do, I'll, I'll increase the bias to 60 and the gain to 60. So it's more contrasty. We could even go higher, 70, yeah, 70. Uh, we could play with the frequency, more or less. You see fractal, turbulence. Uh, turbulence is it's more like clouds or simple. Uh, there's a bunch of options that you can play with. The amplitude ratio, the frequency. Uh, you just have to try them. Maybe put three. So it's smoother, you see, or five. Yeah, you really have to try. Now, if we switch this to displacement, you see, it actually builds it. It's, it's really modeling it. Now, the only issue we have here is that um, it's not strong enough. So if we go under material, uh, I don't know why my diffuse is white. Maybe I did this by mistake. Yeah, let's make it more like this. Um, if you scroll down, you see displacement 20 mil. So let's go a lot, 80 mil. You see now, you could model mountain huh, using this. You could just, just for fun, look, you could go 250 mil. And that might be, um, I might be pushing it a bit. And this is just a preview. Uh, let me go down a bit, but uh, let's go 85 mil. But if you go, because on, on your uh, preview, if you go option, you see it say drive displacement. So if you turn that off, it's going to be slower, but the displacement is going to look much better look. But when you go final, it, it does that. It uh, it removed the draft displacement. So when you go render final, uh, it never do a draft. It does the real thing.
So look, if you go uh, help local documentation, and if you put uh, even just texture, I think it should show up. Uh, no. <laughs> or maybe noise. Or you could put enhanced texture. I think that would show up. But let's try noise. You see, they, they have a photo for all of them, but uh, sorry, let me... I think you have to go enhance texture, something like this. I usually find it easily. Uh, so let's try enhance texture. Here we go. Enhance model texture. So if you click here, look, you can see a preview of all of them. It's kind of neat. You see, you don't have to guess what each one does. And they can be tweaked a lot. Huh? And if you do have my um, my library installed, on the organic, there's a bunch of them. Some that I made, some that I copy from the internet, but uh, the white one is the one I made, you see? So it's kind of nice, because you can just uh, pick one and start with it, look. And then you can tweak it. Uh, wait. Uh, no, it's good, I think that should work. The only drawback, it takes a long time to render for sure. Especially if you do get draft turn off. Let me put back draft on so it'll be faster. But you see, there's a bunch of them that I, uh, as once I was playing with it, and I made them. And you could still go in and play with them and tweak them. So you cannot use displacement everywhere because as you know it would slow down a lot your computer. But it's a good technique, could be used in jewelry, could be used in many things. And you could uh, 3D print this. Huh? It's not just at rendering. I'm not going to do it now because it will take a while. But if you go geometry back, if I can get the menu right, this one, geometry back geometry it would actually um, uh, make it, I can try, because uh, the default is pretty high. It will make it a 3D object. But you can, uh, after, uh, you know, 3D print, if you save it as an STL, you could print it on a printer. There's option to tell him to put less point, but by default it's very high. So that's why you need a good computer. You see now? Look, it's actually modeled. Look. 
might take a while to show up but look you see how many points it's huge but like I said you can tell him to put less point if you want but my computer is having a hard time now do you see how detailed so you can back that thing and if you want less detail because that's pretty heavy it's somewhere here uh, displacement right here so I think if you go if I'm not mistaken if you go 0.5 you'll be a half less you know you have to do some test uh, they don't have a preset but I think if you go like 0.5 or 0.6 you would get less if not go to but I think it's going down if I'm not mistaken